Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Rome here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, our new fleets uh, got fully filled out. Um, so they should be ready to go. I went ahead and actually distributed them, or at least made sure they were where I wanted them to be. So that's good. And we also finished, finally, the Stellar System Craft. It is now fully armed and operational and on the move. Need to get to where it needs to be. It's going to take like a year to get where I want it positioned. And we also had this storm, this subspace galaxy wide storm. It's probably going to take five to ten years to clear up. And of course, it knocks out my shields in all of the systems that it's in. So that's rather annoying. But, uh, we'll deal with it. So the other thing that is a bit of an issue, I was actually looking at my naval capacity and I have a lot more room for more fleets. And we got a brand new hyperstructural assembly yard, fully armed and operational as well. So, though I don't think this thing actually builds ships, right? Because it doesn't actually have a shipyard. It increases my naval capacity by 1,500, restores storage capacity, alloy storage capacity, and increases ship build speed by 75%. So, it just lets me build ships faster. 75% faster, which is nothing to sneeze at. So, in a lot of ways, it also seems to be very similar to this. The Equatorial Shipyard. Right? Which, again just increases my ship build speed by 5%. Does not actually produce any ships itself. Oh, you know, that's fine. Now, I did get a suggestion that if I did want to increase my research output, I should probably build the Matroska brain. Um, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, so I'll have to look into that. But the other issue that now is a problem, is we are now at minus five nanites per month. And I need to figure out what to do about that. Um, the only planet that has a slot where I can build is Clements. Which is interesting. Maybe we got some migrants. Come over here. And there's a robot assembly plant. We don't need robots. See, even the robots are not assembling, right? It's 2,467.2 out of 100 progress. So this literally should have built 24 robot pops by now, but it hasn't. Defense platform damage. All right, is there a structure that I can use to build nanites? Nanite Transmuter. This factory produces a variety of rare royalties using extremely advanced nanites. No, it turns nanites into things. No, I need something that makes nanites. Scientific breakthrough achieved. 
Sentient metal. Hmm. Does not appear to be. Ships are consuming nanites. I'm guessing... It's the Stellar System Craft. That is consuming eight nanites. Upkeep. Hyperdimensional stabilizers. Stellar Compression Stage 2. So if I can't make more, maybe we can cut our... Alright. Neutron Star Stage. It definitely is a lot smaller. Go for it. All right, so what does this do? Hull points, armor hit points, hull, yeah, okay. Hmm. It would be great if I could keep it. Achieved. Admin capacity, okay. Army health, go for that. So what if I bought them? Strange manner. You can't buy them either. Hmm. That's, that's very unfortunate. Producing consumer goods. Crystal Megabar, Dynamic Core Igniter, Dyson Sphere, Negatorial Shipyard. Troska brain. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I was trying to see if there's anything here that looks like it would. Maybe. 
make things. Energy coordinator, nation center. Is it like, um, yeah, we'll keep supporting them. Trying to see it as like um, nano drone workers unlocks automated automatic production facilities nano drones. Is there anything here that needs or produces nanites? Um, or needed to produce nanites? And then it looks like it does that. Flourishing technocracy. Um, no. No idea what those are. A weapon to pierce the heavens. Megastructure build capacity. Megastructure build speed. Um. Discars the discovery of the perfect galactic achieved. core. An active supermassive quasar. Okay, well, we haven't done that yet. Monthly nanites plus four. Unlocks featured nanite facilities. Well, I think that's what we need right there. Nanite composition. Requires the nano drone workers ascension perk has at least 75,000 nano drones requires an empty ascension perk slot. Okay. So we need to take the nano drone workers. And then build up a whole bunch of those. And then we can take this. Okay. Well, it's a thought. Energy weapon damage. Um, grab the shield hit points. Kinetic weapon damage. I mean, we have one and a half thousand. We're at minus five. It's going to take us a little while before that becomes a problem. Now, what are the alternatives?
Reduces alloys. Well, one million, two and a half million. You know, the last thing in the world I wanted this thing to get blown up. So, Moyj Huxkin Swarm has insulted us. Oh, well. Are you actually moving at a decent rate now that you're out of that system? Well, no, you're still in a system that's having problems. You know how much disruption something like this would cause if it entered the star system? Just through its mere presence. Because of you know, its gravitational fields. How long till we get our next 14 months for an extradition, which will unlock a new Ascension Park? So I'll have to make a decision at that point if we're going to go that route or not. I think it will allow me to automate a lot of my production without having pops, which might be useful. Does it actually do that? Ah, yes, this guy. Excellent. Oh, it's big enough. That Matroska brain. Can I actually build it? Oh, did I select the Stellar System Craft? I did. Head to the Screeching Abyss, please. What I wanted to select was this guy. Oh, that's a Giga Industrial Ship. Do we have anything that actually moves at a decent pace? Anywhere close? a factory ship. Well, any construction ship and that... It's only accessible via wormhole. Have you make your way here? 
can take you a little bit. There, you. You just finished. Okay, you come over here. And let's get that Matroska brain. No, this is going to destroy all planets. Uh, okay, I don't know. Then we need to go somewhere else. I need to find another system where I can sacrifice all the planets. Yeah, that one works. Eight engineering research, we can replace that. And these other planets are pretty worthless. So. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, it's on its way. Grab the leader lifespan, kinetic weapon damage. The Titians awaken to psionic abilities, okay? Let's see. Go for. Yes, energy credits from jobs. What I am going to go ahead and do. First off, let's clean up all these fleets. Yeah, we don't have any more Behemoth Planet Craft. Actually, you know what? That makes me a little bit too nervous. Let's just add a new fleet. Add another new fleet. Set of fifteen, right? And these are twenty five. One. Okay. Let's 
Took a minute catching up there. All right. So that should be good. And... Build it. Where is a Titan being built? 29 days. Soul Station. Interesting, I did not put that in the mega shipyard. Four hundred and seventy four days to build the Titan. It doesn't seem like it's been reduced by seventy five percent. This is build speed plus 75%, so that's probably a different modifier. At least he got the right name. And is a stellar system craft actually building ships itself? I believe it is. It's cranking out a whole bunch of ships. That's fine. The Juggernaut is not building ships. Interesting. Famous guru on Sigma Draconis Prime has um has arisen. Okay, excellent. General Octan Undoros has become more experienced. You got the stubborn trait. Alright. I don't think I have an available Oh, we do have an available Admiral. And that the Stellar System Craft has not taken Admiral. I see. It does not have a commander. Okay, that's fine then. Now I don't want to rename him. I just want to assign him to the fleet. There we go. All right, 
So now I just need to wait for this storm to end. Or do I? Well, let's see. All right, but for now, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and then I'll make some decisions about what we're gonna do uh, for next episode, and then uh, go ahead and get to it. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.